The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. As a reminder, the title is on the line here in this match, and the champ is certainly going to have an uphill battle. That's for sure. And we've seen the champ deliver in the clutch before, but tonight might just be as critical a scenario as he's ever experienced. But like you said, Cole, he seems to shine in high-pressure situations. And when it comes to his title reign, this is about as high-pressure as I think it's gotten for the champ. Introducing the challenger from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole! And introducing the champion from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the WWE Heavyweight Champion, Vivacious. The big gold belt up for grabs here tonight. It's not often that a newly crowned champion defends their title for the first time in a steel cage. But that's exactly the situation Trey finds himself in tonight against Adam Cole. Usually the purpose of a steel cage is to keep two opponents inside, but in this case, I think the intention is to keep Samoa Joe on the outside if he were to get involved. Honestly, after everything we've seen from Samoa Joe since he returned, I'm not sure this steel cage is enough to keep him at bay. Ooh, well measured. Definitely being the aggressor here. Nice effort, and here's hoping he can sustain it. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Oh, man, what a boot. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. The title is on the line of this one. And I can't remember a more highly anticipated title defense. November 18th, 2017 marked another historic NXT event. The battlefield known as War Games returned. 
Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your... And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Setting him up for the... Saw what he had in mind there. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give everything they can to win here tonight. Swing that leg over and end it. situation here. We're going to lock it in. It's in. This could be over soon. This is how you punish your opponent. These two heavyweights have worked their entire lives for this, and the night has finally arrived. We'll see who will claim the WWE World Heavyweight title. What will he do now that he's made it to the top? Already at the top? End it already. And here he goes, advancing up the cage wall. Boom, what impact! The championship hanging in the balance. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. He's been quickly taking control here. He's one of those guys that gets going and it's hard to stop him. Looking stunned, looking rocked. He got out of the way. Adam Cole reverses, sending Trey straight into the steel cage. Trey looks like he's in severe pain. And right on cue, just as Adam Cole seems to have this match won, here comes Samoa Joe to try to stop him. Joe slams the cage door on Adam Cole. Joe is dead set on keeping the WWE Championship on Trey so he can take it from him after not getting his rematch seven years ago. Trey with a drop kick into the cage, sending Samoa Joe crashing to the floor. Trey isn't going to sit back and let Joe help him. Well, it's admirable, I guess, but I think he should take the help. It appears Red is out here to help get rid of Samoa Joe so Trey can show he can do this by himself. Don't feed into his ego, Red. If you were a real friend, you'd let him have any help he could get. Trey is equally determined to prove he's not a fluke champion. He wants to win this match on his own. Oh. Trump with precision. Great match here, but if you miss any of the action from this week, just go to WWE's Facebook page, YouTube channel, Twitter, and more to get all caught up. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Stop pulling a uh, leg snap. Uh, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Hung in the tree of woe. Nothing good this way comes. Uh, I'm not sure this strategy is good. There's is, no, no way. No way in hell. He is a long ways away. Costa comes. I can't believe he pulled it off.
Uh oh! Running senton! Got uh -oh. the arm. Oh my goodness, crushing it! For the championship! It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep him down. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. Oh, what a counter. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. His offense is on point right now. No doubt he is a force of nature. Jarring impact. Got uh -oh. the all. Oh, oh my mm. goodness, crushing it. Sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Rear European uppercut. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Got the arm. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Up and down, standing sheer noise. One, two. two. I can't believe it, baby. Adam Cole lives on. Never do that again. And here we go now. Elbow drop. Trap the arm. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Wasn't expecting that. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Oh, nasty impact. Movement there. Whoa, it's a... an impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. He's looking a little stunned right now. Yeah, definitely off of his game. Lightning fast reflexes. reversed paying for that mistake the stomp in every single part of his body hooked up and down the Jenoku driver One of these competitors is eventually going to be attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essentially useless.
Set them up for the flatliner. Oh, man, face first. He's executing on his plan perfectly. Yeah, showing some great technique and full of energy right now. Uh-oh. Shot to the back. Rolling cutter. The champ has this one in hand now. Yeah, talk about a bumpy lane. This singles contest has a victor. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Vivacious. Big pinfall victory here tonight. <laughs> I'll tell you, Adam Cole's never going to be an industry ruler with losses like this. What a spectacular championship match it was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Great job defending your title against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Ronda carries our team tonight. Hmm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know, but FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list, and I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. I hope you're feeling all right after that steel cage match. Look, if you're worried about our match later, I'll be fine. Turns out I actually perform better with possibly cracked ribs. Just remember, the winning Mixed Match Challenge team gets $500,000 to donate to whatever charity they want. I don't want to miss out on that because you've got your hands full with other things. My hands aren't full at all. Look, completely empty. I even had time to think of an awesome team name, Team Rowdy Trey. You clearly just thought of that, so I think that proves my point about you being distracted. No, that took weeks of brainstorming. I swear, I even had a think tank put their heads together on it. Whatever, just make sure you bring your A-game later. The Mixed Match Challenge starts tonight and everyone else knows who they're teaming with. So when are you going to tell me who my partner is on my way to the ring? Oh, did I forget to assign you a partner? Must have slipped my mind. Yeah, I'm sure. To make it up to you, I'll let you choose your teammate. Great. I choose Seth Rollins. You didn't let me finish. I'll let you choose from a group of superstars that I've selected. Is Seth Rollins one of them? No. Your choices are... Kurt Hawkins, who's now lost over 1,000 consecutive matches. Your old trainer, Riley Flash, who I have no doubt is in tremendous ring shape, especially after just flying in from Calgary on six connections. It was the cheapest fare I could get last minute. And finally, Drew McIntyre. You might remember he recently helped Becky Lynch acquire your SmackDown Live Women's Championship, so I'm sure you two would work really well together. I know it must be hard to pick from those three amazing options, but I need an answer now. See, when you're willing to put your gas station toilet seat of an attitude aside, we can work together after all. Not giving it up.